I'm here with Shabir, who is uh, probably one of the stars of this year's protests uh, uh, against the Tory party conference. Um, uh, he was part of the group that uh, uh, went into Jacob Rees-Mogg's public meeting. What, what was he thinking of in a public meeting? I mean, you took your chance though, didn't you? Oh, we did, exactly. And I think, uh, it, I mean, it wasn't just me, it was a lot of people from the People's Assembly. Um, and there was nothing that I said which hadn't been said by the 50,000 people who marched through Manchester on Sunday. Um, and yeah, I think just, just like the Tories have been absolutely shameful in holding their conference in Manchester in the first place. Again. Yeah, again, exactly. It was just ridiculous for Jacob Rismog to have a public meeting and not expect to hear from the public, so yeah. Well, and um, what struck me, I, I watched your piece um, um, uh, on that you got picked up by the Daily Politics, which was fantastic. They put you up against some uh, 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 human from the Daily Telegraph. Um, and what struck me, talk, when you were talking to him and when you were talking to Jacob Rees-Mogg, you used the term evil and not degenerate what's the other thing despicable, despicable. <laughs> and that really struck a chord with me because the evidence is there isn't it absolutely exactly and what i said on the daily politics was that there are so many people who have died and who are suffering immensely because of tory uh, policies um and for them to try and defend it is just abhorrent really um so yeah i couldn't think of any other word other than despicable uh, when a man is trying to say that the Tories have actually lifted people out of poverty because of employment and the rest of it, uh, when we can see, you know, very clearly that that's not the case. There's a real echo chamber thing going on, isn't there, with them? They just don't seem to understand. They don't hear anything except their own point of view. Yeah, exactly. Well, this is what I think. I think the Tories are very ideologically committed to austerity and they just don't want to accept the fact that it is causing immense human suffering all over the country for millions of people. That's fantastic, Shabir. I, really, I hope to see you all over the mainstream media, brother. Keep it up. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks,